Good morning everybody. Today I'll be giving you some tips on how to grow your Instagram account. So I brought Tito a little bribe. <laughs> when I started my Instagram account, I had zero followers and I wasn't advertising to anybody just because I was slightly embarrassed that I started a uh, Instagram for my pet raccoon. But now uh, it's grown quite a bit and I'm up to uh, 36,000 followers as of this video. So today I'll be giving you some tips on how to grow your account and hopefully I'll avoid all the generic ones like make sure you got proper lighting. Although that is very important, I'm going to try to give you some useful advice that's not normally talked about. So the first thing I would go ahead and do is I would start by getting a new Instagram page, especially if you're trying to gain thousands of followers or if you're eventually going to monetize it. Uh, because essentially this is, what you're creating is a portfolio and uh, you want it to look as professional as possible. However, if you already like linked in your, um, your email that you want to use to that Instagram, just go ahead and delete the old pictures or the ones that don't make the cut. So just to get the generic stuff out of the way, you want to make sure that you have good lighting, good content, and you want to make sure you post regularly. Uh, posting regularly regularly is quite important. I, I post once a day and I try not to miss a day. I've missed probably two days since I started in like the last five months maybe, five or six months. And so uh, people expect something on a certain time or a certain day and you have to follow through with that. So once you start posting once a day, how you give hashtags and stuff is pretty important. You want to use about like 10 hashtags. I probably get more carried away than I should. But hashtags let people know like what section you're going to be in. Because typically when you start an Instagram account, you want to have some theme. In my case, it's uh, having a pet raccoon. So you're when you come to my page, you're going to expect to see a raccoon every time. So with that being said, when I do my hashtags, I try to make them as related to a raccoon as possible. So I'll do like raccoon, raccoons, trash panda, and things like that. And then sometimes, depending on what uh, the picture is of, it, let's say he's playing poker because I have one of a photo next to him and poker chips. I'll also do like hashtag poker or something like that. So try to keep yours as related as possible. Um, I think hashtag poker is kind of a, a stretch, but... Um, you'd be surprised. A lot of people like animals even if they're not from that category. However, try to keep it as concise as possible. Since Instagram is about pictures and videos, it's about being as aesthetically pleasing as possible. So when you do post those hashtags, try to avoid putting them into the caption. Uh, you want to conserve that for something either really funny or cute or a quote or something. Something that really is going to make your audience connect with you. And that's another really important thing, trying to connect to them as best as possible. The more they feel like they have a connection with you, the more likely they're going to follow you and share you with your friends and stuff like that. So make sure those hashtags aren't in the caption place. I like to copy, I like to post all my general hashtags such as like raccoon, raccoons and all of that in my notepad and then I'll take that, copy and paste it and then put it into a comment. So it doesn't go into the caption but as soon as I type my caption and my picture is uploaded I go to the comment section and post mine there. These hashtags are essential because I know when me and Tito first started out we didn't use them and we gained like no followers. But as soon as we started incorporating them, um, we we saw a huge increase because uh, people liked the content I posted. We'd end up on the Explore page. So even though I only had like 200 followers, I'd get 11,000 views on a video and therefore I got so many more followers from that. And that's kind of where you want to try to go. You might not be able to get that right off the bat, especially being new. You have to have very good content for that. Most people just brush your pictures aside. If you don't have that fan base to get you those likes, to get you to the Explorer page, it's going to be really hard. So you better have some really good quality photos or really funny pictures and videos and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it comes down to content if you have like a small fan base. So you definitely need to post at least once a day and three times at the most. But if you do more than one picture a day or video, 
Um, to stagger them out, I know a lot of people uh, just post them all at once, and people don't like that. They will unfollow you if you do it too often. And something to be wary about, if you do post more than once a day, uh, make sure whatever theme you chose at the beginning, you just gotta be wary, make sure you have enough content to post that many times a day. So when you're taking pictures, you wanna make sure that what you're photographing is the main point of it. You don't wanna have any like extraneous things. Um, so when you're taking pictures and there's a cluttered background, you wanna to try to simplify that as much as possible or zoom in. The background noise, like all the things that's happening besides the main subject, can really detract from a, um, from a picture. And lastly, when you're taking these pictures and videos, you wanna make sure that they all flow when you're looking at your feed. It's important to have it look nice so the first thing people see is an aesthetically pleasing scenery. Um, and so it's not like disjointed or anything like that. That's one thing I'm terrible at is um, because I feel like Tito, he only does certain stuff when he wants to so it's hard to get pictures of him. And so what he's doing, if he's cute in one scene, it might not necessarily match what the rest of my page is. Even if you're bad at this, there is still hope. You can gain a lot of followers even if your news isn't pleasing to look at. However, you have to make it up for it in different ways, such as having really good content or really high quality pictures. There is some wiggle room here. People are gonna follow you if they can connect with you. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.